Hey, man, what's good with y'all, man? Hope everyone's having a blessed day. Look, it's 2021, fellas. We got to we gotta get right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jair Rusoke. Back again for another video. Without further ado, let's jump into the video topic. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. Man, nothing too crazy in this video. You know what I'm saying? None of the antics, none of the laughing, none of the jokes. At the end of the day, dog, like, we just got to do better, bro. I have sworn to myself that this is going to be my year of increase and my year of self-development, my year of self-proclamation. That was a tongue twister. And just a year of overall improvement. Because at the end of the day, self-improvement is the key to life. And that key will unlock many, many doors and all doors. Because I feel like, you know, like you can you can talk about all the glamorous things, you know, like a lot of these other YouTubers do like, oh, how to get chicks. Oh, how to get quick money. You know what I mean? A lot of people just try to sell quick fixes and quick this the easy route this and easy route that but at the end of the day dog like nothing in this life is easy nothing in this life is going to be handed to you you're going to have to earn and get everything out the mud it, there is no time for failure there is no time for sulking in your problems and by failure i don't mean slip ups because at the end of the day we're all going to slip up we're all going to make mistakes but by failure i mean giving up and being and letting yourself stoop down to a level where you know that you're better than and I'm going to be honest, bro, it's tough. Like, it's a fight. You know what I'm saying? I feel for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going through my own problems, and I have been for a long time. And everybody is, rightfully, in their own respective life. But at the end of the day, bro, you just got to keep pushing forward. Because at the end of the day, self-improvement is the key. It opens so many doors, bro. Like, never underestimate the power of emotional intelligence. Because whether most people know it or not, or most people will admit, at the end of the day, the way you feel determines majority of the things that you do in your life. And that goes for men as well. Men typically aren't really emotional. Men are mostly logic-driven and logic-based. But at the end of the day... If you feel like you're a loser, you're going to act like you're a loser. Everything stems back to everything stems back to your habits. And your habits are who you are. So if whenever something comes and hits you in the freaking face and your ultimate way of thinking is, "Oh, okay, I'm just going to take a step back. Maybe this is a sign I should stop." Like, "No, dog. You're a weakling and you're a coward." <laughs> and that's just what it is. However, if your instinct is to naturally get back up and go right back after it, no matter what the circumstance is, that's a totally different story. What it means to be a champion is somebody who continuously gets up and goes after it no matter what. You can't be a champion or a victor without going through adversity because if there's no adversity, there is no game. And if there is no game, there is no win and there is no lose. But that's how life is. Life is a game. And you have to play your cards right. You got to make smart moves. You got to make smart decisions and stop making stupid decisions. Stop hanging around stupid people. Stop hanging around stupid girls. <laughs> Circle is everything, dog. It's very important who you allow your presence to be around. Because whether you know it or not, people have a distinct power over who you become and it's crazy to think about because you don't even notice it but if you hang around somebody enough you will pick up character habits like that other person whether it's in the personality or whether it's just what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and that's a scary thing and that could also be a really great thing all at the same damn time all that being said though man bro it's 2021 bro like i can't even believe i'm about to be 21 in like two months bro Less than that. <laughs> Wait, no, today's the 25th. So yeah, exactly two months 
from today, I will be 21. I can't even believe it. But honestly, it's more an eye opener than anything. Because to be honest, there's nothing really new under the sun. I felt like in my life so far, I've seen the demo of what life is in all different perspectives, going down the wrong path and going down the right path, sticking through my adversity or going against my adversity. You know what I'm saying? Or not going against my adversity, but succumbing to the problems. You know what I'm saying? Like I've seen it all. And most of y'all have seen it all too. That's the cool part about life. Because what I realize is, is when you go through stuff at a young age, you have the tools already to perform at a high level later on in your life. That's what that stuff was meant for. So at the end of the day, like if you've already been through a struggle, you can literally, and you've gotten through that struggle, that means that you can get through any other struggle in your life. Because if you made it through this, then that means that you can make, make it through that. And that's the mindset you got to have in 2021, bro. Like, it sucks. Like, I still can't believe that we're in fucking quarantine. I still can't believe that a lot of things. I'm just going to leave it at that. But it, it just is what it is. You can't control the world. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that you can control is yourself. So be the best version of yourself. Make the most of your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's grinding time, fellas. Like, we got to do better. Especially as men in society, bro. Because we're the ones who hold the whole balance of society in our hands. Everything follows after us. And at the end of the day, society is going to shit. <laughs> America is going to shit. And that's the facts. It's time for somebody to step up and make something happen. It's time for somebody to actually get up and be a leader. And that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm encouraging y'all to do the same thing. Because at the end of the day, bro, like it all boils down to who you want to be. Like, do you want to be a winner or do you want to be a loser? Do you want to be somebody who actually has an impact on this planet or you just want to be another fucking basic person like everybody else out here? If you want basic results, go over there and be fucking basic. Like, nobody fucking cares about you. Go ahead and fucking kill yourself for all that people care. Like, that's, that's just the harsh reality of this planet, bro. Like, if you are not who you are supposed to be, nobody will recognize you and nobody will ever learn or receive from your gift. That's why it's so important. And that's why I was saying such harsh things, because at the end of the day, everybody has a gift that can be a blessing towards somebody else in this world, bro. So if you don't operate on your gift and if you're not becoming the greatest version of yourself, why the fuck are you living? If you're not improving every single day and you're letting yourself get into a slump time and time after again, and you're letting that control your life, you're letting your emotions control your life. The way society views you or the way that you thought people have viewed you in the past, you're letting that hold you back? Bro, why are you living? You're letting those other people literally walk you on a fucking leash like you're a fucking dog. Fuck that shit. Be your own fucking man. Be your own fucking woman, bro. Like, fuck that shit, bro. Fuck depression. Fuck anxiety. Fuck all that shit, bro. Do what you gotta fucking do. That's it. I'm out. Peace.